In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the gross tonnage of a boat. Calculate the gross tonnage. Gross tonnage of a boat. So how to calculate the gross tonnage. I'm going to show you how to calculate the gross tonnage of a sailboat based on my previously documented sailboat that had gross tonnage and then how to switch that up to calculate to calculate the gross tonnage of a power driven vessel or a power boat so for a sailboat sailboat example what we do is we take gross tonnage equals length times width times depth times 0.57 all of this divided by 100 now let's take a closer look at length width and depth so the length what is what constitutes the length of a vessel the length of the vessel equals from the bow right this is the length of the vessel it does not include bow spritz or engine or um what do you call it? an engine mount so no bow spritz no engine mounts this is the length the width of this vessel down here the width equals if this is the vessel again you go from the widest part this vessel gets a little skinnier in the stern so we go from the widest part of that vessel right this is the width of that vessel and now what about the depth of that vessel let's look at the depth depth equals so if your vessel this these marks represent the top of the hull right and there's there's a bunch of different shapes to these vessels but these dots represent the top of the hull so this is where the deck meets the hull that's the seam of where the deck meets the hull and they say depth is from the bottom of this hall to where the deck meets it right here so this is depth so now let's let's go through let's go through this calculation so gross tonnage equals the length and the length of my sailboat this is all remember for my sailboat and I'm doing it like that because we had a letter of documentation that said it was six gross registered tons so I have a control here I can make sure that this works so gross tonnage is length 26 feet times the width which is 8 feet on my sailboat times the depth which is 5 feet times this 0.57 all sailboats use this use this fraction here times 0.57 all over 100 okay so let's do this calculation so what does this gross tonnage equal it equals Let's get the calculator out. Oops, there's the answer. You can't see that yet. Okay, so it equals 26 times 8 times 5 times 0.57. We'll equal that. Divide it by 100. And it says it equals 5.928. It's equal to 5.928. And on my certificate, it said, the certificate said that it was six gross registered tons, right? So when we compare these two, this 5.928 and this six, we know that they are very close. Check now you might ask yourself well this is for a sailboat most of us have power boats how do we do this for a power boat let's check this out for a power boat 
So I'm going to change the power bulb to a greenish color. And now you see this 0.57 here. Well, all we do is change that to 0.67. And this is for a power bulb. So if your power bulb had the same dimensions as this boat, we just do it the same way. You go length times width times depth times 0.67 for a power boat divided by 100 and you get gross tonnage. And this is this is just a fast way to calculate gross tonnage and it generally works on vessels up to 75 feet and it definitely works when you are dealing with small vessel sea service forms right so if you are getting your captain's license and you have to document your time this formula works for small vessel sea service form calculations